Hey guys, this is me Abhi Devedi, and you are listening to me on Extended Reality Developers of India Community. We have a guest from a filmmaking industry, and he is going to join with us. So let's welcome Neer Netzer. Hi, Neer. Hi, hi everyone. Thank you so much for having me. It's so great that you reached out. I was very glad to get the the invite. Okay, so how's everything there in Los Angeles? Uh, in LA, it's pretty warm. It's really nice. Um, yeah, are we talking like VR thing or just in general? Are we still in general? Yeah. So uh, let's <laughs> talk about your journey in filmmaking. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. So I came to the city and I started editing. Uh, I worked in TV development, and I think the thing about that I learned about Hollywood is that the system is so built. Right. Meaning, if you're an editor, it's like, what type of editor are you? A sizzle editor? Are you like a comedy editor? Are you a music video editor? And it's very hard to slide in between and. I am this kind of kid who like to like you know dive into the colors and get dirty and like jump from one thing to another. So VR in 2016, uh, I think every development office in town got like one of those headsets because some songs just sent them and they really want content creators. Still is there is a giant need for content creators. Right. Um, and everyone was like, oh, God, this is so cool, and put it aside and forgot about it. And I was like, here is my opportunity to like get out of the editing room. Um, and also, I really, really love the fluidity of it, the idea that you're like recording. Because uh, as an editor, I wanted to do the least amount of like sitting down and like building the mo I wanted to like live the moment, capture it in terms of acting as well, and then utilize that. And VR gives that in a really, really awesome way. Um, so yeah, I um, it's LA, so it is like the big city, but even in LA, the VR community is super, super small and everyone knows one another. And everyone also needs to collaborate and have one another in order to work together because like, we need we need we need people and I and mean, nothing is still established okay. um, yeah so I joined making XR which is a community uh, that worked over here and we're basically like a bunch of friends that are closing deals and working together um, I directed for DreamWorks TV I competed in oculus launchpad I directed for oxygen network um, I think at the time everyone wanted to do a VR project because it was like the thing that every like big company that like considered themselves to be the leading edge needs to do. Um, so they put some marketing budgets into it and they were looking for a company that can do it from A to Z because they didn't want to like start learning everything. Right. Um, so yeah, so the freelance market basically took it and it was really awesome. So. You kind of like have a community now of like a few freelancers that like this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing full time. Um, so I think that definitely took a dive, and now we're looking more towards original content. Wow. Um, so from the editing table to acting, then direction, then virtual reality filmmaking, it's a pretty interesting journey. Yeah, I think I really. Um, when you when you're a kid and you're like dreaming about like coming to LA and like doing things like you really want to like, and then you get like and it's a system and exactly. I, I really wanted to yeah uh, also get to the source of what it is being creative come together do things together and and it didn't feel as fluid so I think VR is still small enough that we can start generating uh, things from 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 nothing and from few individuals coming together okay so let's talk about the netzerland you have a startup called netzerland and uh, yeah. so, so what is that exactly so making xr is a community uh that it's more of like a collective of people that work together and in making xr i was the main like 360 person okay um 
But then uh, some people wanted to focus more on community and arcade, and I wanted to stay and do original content in VR. That's what I want to do. So um, I kind of like steered away a little bit. We're still collaborating, but it's a little bit more of like, I think as the community grows and as the, the market and the medium grows, right. uh, also yourself like, okay, this is what I want to do. So Netherland is what I want to do. And uh, my little sister, uh, she just discharged from the army. She was an, an opera, uh, operation officer in the Israeli army. So she came with like a lot of like producer mindset. Um, and she really believed in what I'm doing. And we produced together um, The Haunted Ride, which is a movie that we will talk about in right. VR. Um, but also, it's more of like a mission to create engaging uh, virtual reality content. Uh, and when I'm saying virtual reality filmmaking, uh, I'm talking about 360 uh, interactive or 360 series or music videos uh, and spatialized sound. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like where we focus on, which is even that is a little wide, but it's more of like, you know, uh, I think people are like, oh, you're doing VR. Do you do games? Do you do Unity? Do you like sort of like I'm doing films? And uh, I think it's it's a category and it's it's a medium that can really really grow. And right now, because the the studios still don't know how to deal with this beast and like what to do with it, and the market is still not proven, it's pretty much asleep. But it's also a great opportunity for any any independent and in any indie person to like take a camera and make something engaging and make something that will create a conversation so we can make something out of this right so uh, about virtual reality filmmaking what it is exactly and how it's different from the previous traditional filmmaking yeah um flatties as we call them i think it's really like, <laughs> it's like all the movies are flatties and now it's like so um, 360 video is being filmed on uh, basically a ball of cameras. Those are designated cameras. Uh, you can also design them by yourself by putting a bunch of cameras together and then we're stitching it together into a panorama um, in the computer. Right. And then you're doing all the effects and all that on that curved panorama. Um, a lot of things are changing just because of that. Okay. A lot of how film is being made is looking straight and then there's like a whole jungle behind of like directors and camera equipment and lighting and all of that is like kind of like a no-no in VR. And then comes like just, you know, people are trying to make VR. So in the beginning you saw people are applying more traditional 2D or flatties 2D media uh, elements into VR, um, but it created a lot of work in compositing. And then there's like just just like the learning curve of like, okay, dude, that doesn't work. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I think naturally all of us went through that process. And yeah. I think, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, carry on. Um, yeah. So I think. Um, today we're like we developed some tools that are uh, more of like became not a standard but like more of like a working tool meaning uh, I filmed a whole course with VRTL it's an online uh, VR university uh, and the course just released about spatialized sound um, so in one hand is like how do I record spatialized sound? How do I think on set about recording spatialized sound? Because all the tools, again, are different. How do I composite it? How do I mix it? So same as sound, uh, same as lighting, and same as directing, and same as moving the camera, everything have changed. Um, so in one hand is a really cool craft. And if you're a person who is liking to improvise and find solutions, VR is a great market to join in and it has a giant potential. Um, but yeah, it's still very, um, very lonely over here. There's very few of us who still do it. Yeah, so the, uh, the 360 covers everything. So it changed everything, right? 
Yeah, um, and within the 360, there is the 3D and uh, 3D 360. And I think what I like about 360 filmmaking is the your mindset is different in terms of it's not how do I tell a story and the story is going to be exactly what it is that I'm feeding the audience. It's a little bit more of I'm teleporting you into a situation and you can look all around you and you can, you know, if, if, if what's interesting to you is to like watch this girl over there who's like eating a carrot, go for it. If you, But it's a little bit more of... Uh, teleporting a person into an experience and a lot less of like passive giving uh, giving it to the person. This is also why I think interactive uh, or choose your own adventure is so good for the VR medium. Okay, so let's talk about interactive movies. So what are they? Uh, interactive storytelling? Yeah. Um, so... Interactive storytelling is kind of like uh, more of the became more popular recently when you're talking about how to do VR films. Uh, I did a project, so I competed in Oculus Launchpad, which is a competition from Oculus that they choose a hundred people from the medium. They're like programmers, filmmakers, a little bit, and 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 people are competing over a grant. And me and my team developed a Choose Your Own Adventure murder mystery. Okay. So. It's called Hashtag Murder, and it will be in the stores uh, within a month, so you can look for it. Uh, but there's also, it's available on Veer, so you can play it on Veer. Veer has a whole interactive uh, 360 platform, which is really great, and you should test it out. But basically what it means for the Hashtag Murder, what we developed, um, so you're the detective, and you arrive to a crime scene with the team of the detectives, and you basically, it's a video, right? So there's like actors around, but there's also clues laying down, and you need to pay attention to the details in order to like understand where to go and where do you want to continue to investigate. Okay. Do you want to interview this suspect, that suspect? Um, so, yeah, this is specifically about our project, but generally about interactive filmmaking or interactive storytelling in VR. It's a lot more engaging. I think it's the difference between like sitting on your couch and like vegging out and watching TV to like being out and investigate and looking into an adventure and the interactivity of it gives you that excuse to go and explore um, which I think it's a very natural medium for, for VR. So instead of just watching this movie you play the role of a detective in this movie which tries to solve yeah. this mystery? Yeah, I mean, it's, you need to like solve the mystery, so you need to pay attention to the details. Uh, the whole adventure is built from about 30 videos, which can be like questions, different rooms, all things like that. But okay. let's take another example, uh, what uh, Netflix did with uh, Bandersnatch, um, is that you get into a situation and then you choose where do you want to lead the character. At some point, it's like, do you want to murder your dad or do you want to, like, go and to your room? And that's, like, so it's just putting different challenges and different more opportunities, I would say, towards, like, what do you want to uh, interact with the story? And I think to finish that subject, I think that we are turning a lot more towards experiment, experiential uh, society, that we want to experience stuff and we want us to, like, sit down and watch there's people are going out looking for vr arcades uh people are so um yeah i think it's just a different approach for entertainment which is really cool to explore right so let's talk about you the music video you directed the fuck boy music video yes fuck boy so, so what was the inspiration uh, Fuckboy, um so we've for a while worked as a team in, in making xr and we had uh, intro from big studios or uh, um, recording studios and, 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 and management um, for like, what can you do with 360 video for music right. videos? And it was kind of very hard to explain it. So we needed a showcase. And um, Fuckboy is basically my showcase to like, how you can, what can you do with 360 video for for music videos. Um, so Fuckboy has uh, 
a bunch of dancers and we put like uh, 3D uh, with, with, with the green screen compositing and uh, audio reactive assets and everything over there is moving and it's in spatialized sound. Uh, so there is a link on YouTube that's not spatialized sound, but there will be a spatialized sound uh, little app that you can download from the store. Um, and yeah, it was just like something that we really wanted to like show other musicians of like, look, this is what you can create out of it. And I also think what's interesting about it is that it's an opportunity for monetization that the music world haven't seen yet. Uh, sorry, not that I haven't seen yet, just not really available as much right now because music are not selling any more albums. It's not something that we do. Um, so if you can release a visual VR album that will be kind of like an app that people can buy on the store, this is interesting. And I also think that it's very, very interesting of like, what can you do with it? And I would love to see more musicians like creating in the space. Um, so Fuckboy though, it's just a song that I really, really love. Um, it is very explicit, but it's super, super fun and campy. Um, yeah, so it's like, uh, it's from a friend, a friend of mine wrote the song, uh, her name is Bugsy. All of her songs are kind of like very much female powered and it's like boss woman. Like, so I really, really love the song. It's kind of hard to market a song called Fuckboy, but I can definitely promise you that it will be the trippiest, most fun 360 video you've ever seen. I worked on it for a long time because it was also my journey of learning the tools and trying to like solve problems that haven't really been solved yet. Like how do I put green screen inside a 3D space when I'm filming it in 360 without it being cheesy or without needing to spend thousands of dollars on 3D scans and things like that. So, yeah, that's Fuckboy, and it's available on YouTube, so you can search for Fuckboy VR. So, I have the video uh, with me, so can yes. we run it? I'm ready. I've seen okay. it. <laughs> so, let me run it. What I gotta say to you, something that I gotta say. Are you running the whole thing? Yes. Yeah. Cool. catchy in this one it's really fun i don't know yeah. americans that are like a little too sensitive but she's like saying to fuck too many times over that but it's like it's a really fun song yeah definitely there's a lot of effort going on yeah um again it, it was it was my journey so i it's basically a one-man show when it comes to the post-production obviously i had like the my team to produce it but the post-production was mainly me uh, but it was also a journey, as I said, of like, just, okay, how do I go about it? How do I do 360, uh, 3D on the best shape? Like trying Unity, trying a Cinema 4D, trying Blender. That was made on, on Blender. Um, but it just like more of like, um, you know, think about a new problem, quote, quote, 
and, and find a new solution because it's like it hasn't really been done before on that bigger scale. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously, 360 video has been done, but it's not like that has been super studied, and you have so much like this is the right way to go. You really right. need to like, go around. yeah. So uh, it's an amazing music video, and yeah, it's it's Thank even you. more fun to watch in uh, virtual reality. In the headset, it's super trippy. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you didn't get to all the cool stuff. There's uh, there's a bunch more settings, and, and uh, you guys should watch it. Watch it. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, your upcoming project. So you told me there are a lot of uh, coming on uh, in this year. Yeah. So. Uh, as I said, Hashtag Murder is going to be out this month, and also Fuckboy on Spatialized Sound is going to be out uh, as an app, but you can play with uh, Hashtag Murder on Veer. There will be a link, probably. We'll put it somewhere. Um, but you can also look for Hashtag Murder on Veer, and you can play with it. Fuckboy is available on YouTube. Uh, and we have uh, a movie coming out uh, it's a full feature in VR, which we're gonna release as uh, as a series of four parts, and it's called The Haunted Ride, uh, and it's a ghost story uh, about four influencers that took an RV to drive to Burning Man, and on the way they realize that their RV is haunted. Um, so it's a very campy, scary movie. Uh, and it's a lot about like, is it real or is it not? Uh, it's a lot of like, and, and I think we really went all out with uh, the technicalities of 360 filmmaking. There's a lot of movements in terms of like, uh, we took this cable um, and put the camera on it and move it in the forests and, and in the RV. And uh, there will be a lot of like trippy kind of like, scary stuff but it's not a gore movie it's not a uh it's not a bloody movie but it's a very fun and scary movie wow. um yeah and so the trailer i think it's the it's a out. really scary to watch a movie horror movie in a virtual reality headset you it, know what i i see that a lot of people are doing this like oh my god and then yeah. they don't realize the headset <laughs> and then they feel stupid and um so then there's this like no i don't want to look but you also there may be something is over there but you're looking and you don't know so right. we're playing a lot with it and this is really so, fun i think yeah so in yeah. virtual reality you can actually showcase the true potential of horror we had this moment in a meeting when, uh, you know, we took a lot of meetings with like writers and people who wants to get into VR and we had the meeting with this writer and then she like played something and then yeah. we like went around and like just did <laughs> something else. And then all of a sudden there was like a yell, like such, ah, well, what happened? She was watching, uh, I don't remember what she was watching, but <laughs> it was completely, I also think that the reactions that you see out of VR and this is a big telling for me because you always ask yourself, like, am I wasting my time on this technology? Is it really going to grow? Um, but then you put someone in a VR headset and you let them, like, do a roller coaster or, like, something, and you see the excitement and you see the emotions, and it's not something that you see coming out of cinema. It's not something that you see coming out of TV. And I think it's still very raw, and it will be amazing to, like, really explore it, and this is what we're doing. Yes. Um, but yeah, those you can really go scary with VR, and this is also why I'm kind of like, let's go south in the beginning. We'll do like a ghost story. It will be cool. It will be scary. It will be quirky. But I want like teleport people into the worst situation <laughs> of their life. And because, for example, um, so my first project in VR was for uh, Jaunt VR. They were a big startup at the time. Uh, and it was a VR experience in a real jail in Texas. Wow. Um, and it's in 3D um, with specialized sound. So, and those are real prisoners talking with you. And you're like with them in the cell and you look down and this is the bathroom and, 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 and you kind of like feel how small it is. And after working on this piece for about, I don't know, a few months, I felt I was scared of jail and I kind of like subconsciously felt like I was in jail. Right. Uh, so, so it, yeah. It's, I think, it's a mental teleportation. You can 
uh, surely send people in the places where they don't want to go, go right like a jail it's an amazing okay um, uh, yeah they call it the empathy machine right. um and i think there is definitely something in it because you're locking a person into a different perspective and exactly. then you really look at the world from a different situation even like just the height of where you're positioning the camera. Right. I used to put the camera into my eyes and then I got a lot of notes when people are saying like, whoa, this is really high. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, right. I'm, I'm taller than most of them. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Every little thing is really affecting your experience with VR, which and is amazing. I have also uh, heard about an experience where you play the uh, role of a black guy and you can feel the racism around you. So uh, there, there are some experiences like that even going on. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think you're talking about I am a man. And uh, I think that I believe that's the name of the experience. And the guy who made it was uh, a part of the lunch bed as well. Uh, right. Yeah, wow. there's also an experience called U-Turn, uh, which Natalie uh, was also a part of Oculus, uh, that it's like, in 180 is the female story and in the other 180 right, is the men's right. yeah i've heard about that as well yeah there, so yeah. there are a lot of experiments and new things coming on in filmmaking as well like, like yeah. experiences yeah i think in in one hand it's so exciting in the other i think we are in a position when it's like okay but what will make money like what right. will people pay to experience um and would want to go and experience and i think it's so crucial for the market currently because i'm kind of like we've done so many and i've done one uh like homeless uh experience and it's a very strong and urgent subject that we need to talk about but it's like is that what people want to watch so it's like a little bit of like I think VR needs to move to a place from like, oh my God, this is really strong to put people in this situation and empathy and it's right and it's true, but also like, let's entertain, let's build it into an economy, let's make it into something. Okay, so now I have an interesting challenge for you. Okay. So since you are already in acting, I'm going to give you a Bollywood line from the famous Sunny Dale so uh so so the line is like aur ye thai kilo ka haath jab kisi pe padta hai to aadmi uthta nahi uth jata hai so can i understand what it means maybe i'll i'll put a little bit like feel into so, so that so he he's like a he's like a action uh, figure in india and he okay. says when i punch someone he doesn't get back up he just straight goes to god okay yeah All right. So See, now we'll give it to me again the the sentence slowly. Okay. So aur jab ye 2.5 kilo ka haath aur jai bhi hai 2.5 kilo ka haath 2.5 kilo ka haath kisi pe padta hai kisi pe padta hai to aadmi uthta nahi to aami urta hai ud jata hai ud jata Right. Now again fast. <laughs> So do you, do you have the text I I just send you text you can it's better Yes you did <coughs> Okay uh, Let's okay, do this Aur jab ye 2.5 kilo ka haath kisi pe padta hai to aadmi uthta nahi uth jata hai Uth jata hai Yeah It's such a a uh, uh, melodic language yeah. Okay I think I'll do it slowly. A jai be hol kilo ka hat aur sima tar tahana. Tar bhi hota hai. Or chata hai. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun from what movie is it? Is that from a movie? Yeah, it's it's from a movie. and uh, i think i think in this movie he was playing a lawyer so in all the movies he plays some angry young man so he he is a action figure i can say that so uh come to the last point so you are an amazing amazing virtual reality uh, filmmaker you are you have been a very good uh, editor you are a very good actor 
you have you play you are wearing so many hats so what is your message to the people who wants to get in those industries and who wants to uh, make their career in this particular field which is virtual reality filmmaking so what you want to say to them i would say that vr is a great opportunity if you want to make something big in your life but you do need patience uh, and you do need to be creative and and think out of the box because VR th there are no jobs for VR directors out there right. being posted. It's you need to find an idea, sell it or or execute it and get people excited. Because I think what we see from the numbers as well that the numbers of headsets being sold are going up and up and up, but the content that there is out there is just Very so limited. limited. And so therefore, just economically, there is a great, great opportunity. But, and, and more than this, I think that you will also find a community, which is the most heartwarming human experience that I've been encountered with, because I think a lot of creators come to Hollywood to to make something out of themselves, and and you coming into sometimes a very cutthroat society, and in VR is completely different. There is a blank page, and there are only people coming together and helping one another and building friendships, and those friendships are your colleagues and your bosses and your team, and uh, and it will stay this way. And I think looking around the room like I see the same people coming into the VR events and, and we're working together and you know that those people will like become something big in the future because something will come out of this technology exactly. something will happen um, and it's all a matter of consistency imagination vision and dedication because uh, you're probably not gonna make your mil millions from VR right now or it's just it's not that I woke up when I was young and I was like, oh, I will be a VR filmmaker. Mm -hmm. There was nothing in VR, but I, I wanted to be creative and I wanted to work with people and I wanted to try different things and, 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 and be fluid with my creativity. So VR definitely gave me that and definitely sent me around the world to direct and sent me on wearing different hats, explaining different solutions and, and it's amazing. So. Yeah, and join the community and uh, add us online and uh, be a part of this content creation madness, uh, which is about to happen. Exactly. You said it very correct that there's no job of a virtual reality director. You have to make your own job. You have to make your own content. Start making something. Start doing something. It's a very yeah. great message. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and seriously there is a lot of interest there is right. more and more people buying headsets these are the numbers are saying do your research don't believe me right uh but i think it's our missions and content as content creators to give something cool for those people to watch and enjoy and make more movies you know that there is a quote from disney that he said we're making movies to making more money so we can make more movies and that's kind of like my attitude for life. And I hope that, you know, other people can recognize that too. Right. Okay. Uh, so thanks for coming on the show. And we had such a great Thank conversation. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. It's I'll great to have you on the show. My Indian, I'll, I'll, I'll work on my lines better next time. Right. I think if I want a career in Bollywood. I need next time, on. next time I'm going to give you even tougher dialogue. So be ready for that. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> sit down read lines right so uh, yeah feel free you can also give me some Israeli movie dialogue if you have right <laughs> usually when you tell that to an Israeli and I'm sure that a lot of Indians know that they would teach you some curse word that you don't right. know what it is. <laughs> right. that, that's true that's true careful okay. from those Israelis yes so uh, thank, thanks for coming and Thank you so much, and happy um, Day. Independence Day. Yeah. So, uh, so this was Neil Netzer, and we had an amazing conversation about virtual reality filmmaking industries, and 
happy republic day to everyone in india and uh, mohit sharma commented on that happy republic day so hi mohit and mohit is also doing virtual reality filmmaking so i'll also connect you more people who are working in this industry and you can definitely join the community collaborate collaborate with each other and help each other grow so which is uh, the only motive of this community so thanks and uh, thanks for giving me your time and uh, uh, yeah see you next week